back in morning morning. It is like insanely bright outside today and I can barely keep my eyes open. But I've got my little bowl of cereal <laughs> and basically I'm just going to jump into this video. So it is a sketchbook tour, but it's kind of all over the place. I've only done four sketchbooks, five sketchbooks. It's like 2019 to currently. And I don't talk about the sketchbook, I leave like little prompts, like little subtitles in like certain sections just saying, oh I like this page, or like this is what inspired this. Um, instead I just answer some questions, uh, like a Q&A that I had over my Instagram. So yeah, feel free to just like literally mute the video and put whatever music you want over it. But yeah, so hope you enjoy and I might do another one of these because obviously I've got all my uni work and my art foundation work but it's just too much work, so I decided to just leave it at like four sketchbooks, five sketchbooks now. But yeah, enjoy. Yo, yo. So that's me, voiceover Damien back. <laughs> um, I haven't done one of these in like a long time. Anyway, so I don't know, you can either turn off this audio and just put some random music on and watch the sketchbook tour, or listen to me answer some Q&As because I put a little thing on my Instagram, so yeah so someone said i could i might pop them on the screen if i can be asked slash figure out how but gabs said uh what's my favorite color combo at the moment it's anything that's green and yellow literally green and yellow or blue to be fair green yellow and blue that's that's a vibe but otherwise i try to use like contrasting colors or complementary colors because then it makes the illustration pop some more but yeah, and then someone else said, have you ever had any bad criticism on your work and how did you feel about it? To be fair, I've had, um, I had only, I've never had bad criticism on my work, like on any of the work I've done for myself. It's always been like on work for uni or college and stuff. Only because like, obviously your lecturers and teachers are going to give you bad criticism because they want you to do better. But yeah, not really on anything that I've done recently like everyone seems to be loving it I only had like one bad criticism because I accidentally spelt something wrong well I put an apostrophe on a piece of my work where it didn't need to be and yeah I did it at like 3am and didn't even notice and this like woman messaged me on Instagram being like oh my god like you need to delete this I'm a teacher like this is annoying me so much but yeah that's the only like bad criticism I've had um Someone else said, what are my inspirations for my illustrations and did I ever study illustration? I did. I actually studied illustration for three years and did an art foundation before, but I studied illustration at Worcester Uni. Whoop, whoop, repping, yay. That was fun. Um, but what inspired my illustrations? I don't know, really. Plants, because majority of the stuff I do are plants. But um, I think it's colours. I do want to branch out and like sort of step away from plants but also I really do enjoy them I think once I've finished one of my sketchbooks I should get another sketchbook I'm going to try experiment more so I'll have like my plant sketchbook and then also just like a random sketchbook where I'll do other work because I've ordered one so hopefully it'll come soon because I like this year and last year I haven't really worked on my sketchbook I usually do like loads of sketchy work and stuff but at the moment I haven't really done that so I want to get back into more I want to get I want to get more into that again but yeah what is my what would a dream project be for me a dream project is I want to have one of my picture books published because I'm currently working on one but yeah I never really talk about it because on my Instagram it's more other stuff and like my picture book is like sort of separate because that's not the style I'm busy doing at the moment well it's a style I'm working on but I'm doing more plant stuff at the moment so if I was going to step away from that I'd probably focus more on my picture book but yeah someone said what well, inspired me to start playing the guitar um basically my mum has loads of guitars and like her whole family is very musical so we always had guitars around the house and I just wanted to learn one day so I picked it up put YouTube on and now I'm self-taught what's my favorite thing to draw plants obviously <laughs> joking um but yeah it would definitely be plants I don't know, the shapes are so weird and you can make them like really colourful. Favourite art medium, um, gouache, gouache indeed. I used to be obsessed with watercolour but I just like how like opaque and like how, I don't know, it's just, it dry, dries matte 
which I really like. And you can get such vibrant colours from like using so little. But yeah. Um, what artists inspire me? Ooh, that's a good one. Keith Haring, yes. Um, I was really inspired by Van Gogh, surprisingly, even though his work is like nowhere, like not even, like you can't really see my work or like see where inspiration comes from, but I like his work a lot. Um, Lee Lexicon, if that's how you pronounce it, her work is amazing, so she inspires me. Apple Cheeks, Furry Little Peach, yes, I love Furry Little Peach. But yeah, where do I see myself in the next five years? Hopefully with a house and a whole art, like room that's my art studio and not just my bedroom. Because <laughs> currently my art studio is in my bedroom. But yeah, uh, and hopefully I've become a full-time freelance artist because at the moment I'm, I'm doing this because I'm on furlough and also because it's what I want to do. So hopefully when I'm when sort of covid goes back to like whatever it was before or like we're allowed to go out and stuff and i currently work at a pub but obviously i'm on furlough so no pubs are open so hopefully i will be able to go more into freelance and i'll be financially stable like through my art but yeah favorite and least favorite photo or piece um oh god probably when you're watching the sketchbook tour i hate so many pages in it like i don't know some of the stuff i created it's just like I've, i'm surprised i even showed it but also i might as well show this like bad stuff as well as the good stuff how old am i um am i still in school how am i doing i'm doing good and no i'm not still in school and i'm 25 we graduated junior 2018 <laughs> um what art supplies do you use and are any of them affordable slash um can you buy what you need easily mm, i used to have an art store well there used to be an art store literally two minutes down the road from me but then it got shut down because nobody ever went there but it was such a nice store and i missed it but some of the stuff i use is affordable but my gouache paints are kind of really expensive I got given them like 2018 as a Christmas gift and I've just like didn't use them for like a year and a bit and last year is when I started using them properly but they were probably about like 80 quid and I want to get a new set but I want to get like a couple more and it's going to be like 115 so it's not really that affordable but I do really love them and I wouldn't use any other gouache paints so treat myself at some point. <laughs> Do I ever second guess my artwork a lot and do I feel confident about my work? I do feel confident about my work. I used to be very self-critical and like always sit, look at everything I post on Instagram and be like, oh, if I don't like it, I'd delete it. Or if it got a certain amount of likes, I'd like, I'd delete it. But at the moment, I don't really like, I don't really care. I just post what I love. So yeah. What paper and what tape do I use? I use like 350 GSM watercolor paper. That's like really good i think it's like a cold press and then i just use painter's tape which is like frog tape brand and it's yellow because it's really good but yeah um oh yorkshire artist said um she's going to start an online sketchbook club would i like to join i actually signed up to it today so next monday at like eight o'clock i'll be joining in a sketchbook club so that'll be fun but yeah, um, do I do, do I ever do digital work? I do, like, but I'm more of a tactile artist, so I don't know. I just like, it's like paint. I just like actually picking up a paintbrush and like paint and like wait for the paint to dry rather than doing it on an iPad. I have tried before though and I do do quite a bit of stuff on the iPad, like when I make GIFs and other illustrations, but... I just like gouache paints too much so I don't think I'd ever fully transition into just doing digital art. Most amount of money spent on art supplies. It'd probably be more like, I wouldn't say art supplies but more like stickers like if I'm buying stickers or like stuff for my Etsy shop because I haven't actually brought my new like set of gouache paints so I haven't spent that like £115 yet which is mad but yeah. So at some point I'm gonna to have to take the leave and like end up spending that which so that will probably be the most expensive like spend. 
but yeah uh what inspires me to do the paintings i do um and why do i use the colors i use i don't really know usually i, I usually pick four colors so i usually pick four random colors or four colors that just like catch my eye that day and then figure out along the way like how i'm going to use them what's going to be the background the foreground and like the leaf color and like the stem color but also i do sometimes sketch like obviously if if you've like seen my instagram and stuff i have like my neat page and then i have like my sketchy page where i usually paint and like draw all the random little bits like so if i have paint left over i'll just like paint all random squiggles and like lines just to see how the color blends and works but yeah so uh i think that's it that's um i'm not going to answer all the questions because otherwise people probably would get bored of listening to my voice but yeah i'll let you continue with the video and i just pop some music on so hope you enjoy bye i'm back it's still insanely bright outside but hope you enjoyed the video and feel free to like share comment subscribe all that youtuber stuff but yeah, i'll probably do more of these but for now i just did the one Feel free to leave any comments below about what other like sketchbooky things. I might do a draw with me at some point, but I haven't decided on that yet, slash I just don't know how to edit it. So <laughs> yeah. See ya next Wednesday. Bye. Trying to look like you winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen. Soaking the moments we live in. Yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on.